Do you want to say it? Uh, okay. I brought a boat. <laughs> Well, hi all. Um, yeah, this video, this week's video, is going to be kind of in three parts. Um, three different things going on, which is a little bit different this week, isn't it? Of course, we'll be showing you some of the build, because um, that's what these series of videos is really all about. The build of this 32-foot Benford dory, sailing dory. Um, trying to show you, you know, the processes involved in the build, but also perhaps give you an impression of, of the, how much work, how much time is involved in building such a vessel. That's, that's certainly something I would have found useful before, I'd, before I started trying to build something like this. I had no idea how much work and time was involved. So, so trying to give you an impression of that. Um, but the other two things that we're going to look at is a couple of things that are surrounding, well, Hazel, basically. And uh, we'll be sit sitting down and having a chat with her and she'll be revealing some very big news. So let's get on with it. Well, you, you might remember that about uh, this time last year, I think it was, we were sat in a very similar position here and Hazel had just done a RYA competent crew um, and we had a little chat about it, what was involved, and um, you've just been away again, haven't you? Yeah, I have. In fact, you're away quite a, quite a lot, very often working, and, and we shall talk about the fruits of those labours very soon. But, but <laughs> last week you were away, and what did you do? Uh, I did my RYA Day Skipper practical. Okay, the Day Skipper Practical. Yes. That means you, you say practical, so it must be made up of more than one part. Then, this is, is correct, no, yeah. Tell us. There's a theory part and a practical to the oh, Day Skipper license. And um, am I right in thinking you have to do the theory part first and then the practical? Yeah, this is correct. Okay, so how do you do the, how's the theory part work? Okay, so I did it online. You can do it in like a class uh, environment as well. Mm -hmm. I did it online because I wanted to do it at home mm -hmm. and so you have 12 chapters which you can complete in your own time mm -hmm. and this is all on the computer yeah exactly yeah, yeah. it's all on a website yeah okay. um, so then once you've completed those 12 chapters you tell the people behind the website that mm -hmm. you've done and then mm -hmm. they will either tell you okay revise this chapter or okay go on to the test okay. and then you and you say chapters test. that means you just have to read them or no uh, there are quizzes in okay. each chapter so okay. there's reading and there's quizzing involved okay. I see quizzing yeah <laughs> good all right so when you've done the 12 chapters and the people say okay then yeah. that's it is it no no then you do a big test a mm -hmm. big written test wow. um, for which you have eight hours and you have to, to go somewhere to do that no no you can do it at home on uh -huh. your computer okay so, yeah. I see Mm -hmm. Practical. So you get um, with the the online course, you get charts and an mm -hmm. almanac and all mm -hmm. that, is mm -hmm. sort of for a made up place. Mm -hmm. But then you use that to complete all the the navigational exercises or mm -hmm. anything like that. Okay. And, and what's involved in those twelve chapters? Uh, navigation, well, yeah, navigation, weather, mm -hmm. pilotage, um, voyage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Safety, mm -hmm. of course, uh, mm -hmm. those sort of okay. things. That sounds quite good. Yeah. 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 And then when you finish that, you can do the practical, and that's what you did yes. last week. Exactly. You were away for five days? Yep. So, so yeah. a few words about that, please. So, yeah, well, you can either do the five days course, mm -hmm. so five days of sailing, mm -hmm. or you can split it up over the weekends if you don't have time during the week, if right. you have to work or something. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
um, but since I don't live over there, it's better for me mm. to do everything at once. Right. Um, so yeah, just went sailing for five days really mm -hmm. to get the the practice of sailing. Mm -hmm. And how many people on board? Um, six altogether. So one was the instructor mm -hmm. and five students. And they're all doing the day skipper. No, <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> um, two of us were doing the day skipper, including mm -hmm. me, and then three were doing the competent crew. All right, which is quite nice because the crew people have got to practice crewing. Exactly. And the skipper, two skippers, practice skippering. Yeah. So how do you, does it work with two people skippering? Well, we always took turns. So one would be the navigator and one mm -hmm. would be the skipper. Okay. And so on the evening before, the instructor would usually say, okay, the next morning we're going to go here. Mm -hmm. I'll plan the passage mm -hmm. of that. So we'd sit together and plan the passage. And then the navigator of on the day would say okay we need to avoid this or we need mm -hmm. to go there mm -hmm. and the skipper would sort of be in charge of the crew and of all the right. decisions really. And you exchanged navigator and skipper Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. always okay. swapped. Okay. And you spent five days sailing around or did you do anything else? Yeah well mainly sailing but mm -hmm. we we practiced mooring on a pontoon or mooring on a mooring buoy mm -hmm. or anchoring, mm -hmm. anchoring some of that. Okay. We did man overboard right, drills yeah, as well. Yeah, it's yeah. Not uncommon. Yes. Yeah. Very yeah. good. And at the end of all that, what do you get? Well, I see you've got your logbook. Exactly. So I bought this logbook uh -huh. at the end of my competent crew. Uh -huh. So you can log all your miles uh -huh. and that sort of thing. And then at the end of the theory course, I got a little sticker. A mini end. certificate. Yes. Yeah, exactly. They yeah. can stick in yeah. there. And then at the end of the practical, I got this nice looking license okay. card. And that's still not complete, is it? No, right? exactly. I have to stick my photo in there and then yeah. you can peel this paper off. Right. And right. Sort of There's a clear yeah, exactly. Yes, cover that transparent thing that covers and seals it all together. Exactly. Gotcha. Very. Um, and do you think you'll be going on to, to do the next level? Next level is, is coastal skipper. Yeah, it? it is. Oh, yeah, I plan to. I think yeah. um, from then on and upwards, you can do more with the license mm. as well. This mm. is sort of, I don't really know what you could do in the real world with a day skipper license. Mm. It's a bit sort of saying, okay, you can sail, but mm. not much more than mm. that. And I think once you get up to yacht master level and so on, you can actually work yeah. sailing. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thank Looking you. good. <laughs> it's cut there. Yeah. <laughs>
So I, I said last week um, that there's some exciting news, and, and while we're sat here, perhaps we can get to the exciting news. Because <laughs> the exciting news is that. Do you want to say it? Uh, okay, I brought a boat. <laughs> What sort of boat have you bought? I bought a Freedom 28, which has been converted to a junk rig. Mm -hmm. Catch. Yeah. So originally a cat catch. Yeah. And now a junk catch. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. 28 foot. Mm. Built in the United States. Yeah. Rhode Island, I believe. I believe so too. Yeah. From um, Pearson, I believe. But anyhow. Something, like that, yeah. Something with P. P. Most yeah. certainly. Most certainly a P. <laughs> good, good, good. And where is it? It is on the Isle of Wight at the moment, on the Medina. Which is the south of England, if yes. I'm not sure where the Isle of Wight is. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's where it's sitting at the moment. And your plans? Uh, to fly over pretty soon mm -hmm. and to sail it back to Germany. Mm -hmm. On your own? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Who's coming with you? I don't know. <laughs> no, you are coming with me. Oh, am I? And uh, Sally, who was the previous owner, of mm -hmm. along with Steve. Yeah. So not sure if Steve's coming yet, but yeah. yeah. So we're going to go over next week and, and yeah. weather permitting. Of course. Bring it back. Yeah. Which should be rather exciting, won't it? And yeah. we'll shoot some video, won't we? Yeah. We'll and, try and uh, yeah. get it. We'll be well try and try to get some video together of, of that delivery of the boat. Have a little look around the boat, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that should be cool. Yeah. It'd be interesting. And so just some video of sailing as well, which is yeah. uh be a new experience. Exactly it's something video different to video in the shed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll be something yeah. completely different. Mm -hmm. So we've got that to look forward to. Um, means probably that we won't be having a video next week, um, uh, because we'll be off sailing, I expect, mm -hmm. but the week after that Hopefully, all being all going well, we have a video of some of that probably, and then from then on we'll be back to our regular cycle of, of, of boat building, um, and we'll see what happens with Hazel's boat and yeah. what we do with it. Hopefully, yeah. it doesn't break on the way. That'd no, be sad. It's always hoped, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't do though, should it? No. Shouldn't do. It's sure. quite a capable boat. Yeah, it's kept in good condition as yeah, well. Yeah, even more looked after. Yeah, certainly. Fiberglass. Um, yes. The old Freedom 28 cat catch converted to junk roof. Yeah. Good. We'll cut there. Okay. Good. And I guess that's it for this week. Um, thanks for watching. All that stuff. Um, and we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>